All right, guys, I put together a 22 survival kit. This is a 22 rifle. It's a Rossi single shot. It has a 410 barrel, but I prefer to use the 22 configuration. Now, the way I put together the survival kit is the stock is hollow, and I took advantage of that. The only downside to this kit is you need a screwdriver to get this open. I tried to use my tip of a knife, but it doesn't work, but I have a flashlight. And this is if you're stuck in the woods for a couple of nights. I plan to replace this with a knife that's actually meant for, you know, skinning animals and such. That can actually be used more effectively for self-defense. Then I have a bag of sorted hooks and lead sinkers. And it's in here. Took part of a shotgun shell, cut a couple of slits in there. You got about um, 15 feet of fishing line in there. I can get the final part out. There we go. I couldn't find a clear plastic bag and a box of ammo wouldn't fit in there. This is um, roughly 40 rounds of 22 in this bag. Now this kit is primarily meant to be used not as like if you're planning to stay in the woods for months at a time it's meant like if you're you know you get lost in the woods for maybe three or four nights i would assume i do plan to use a or out of fire started this one <coughs> as well as a lighter because i like having two ways of starting fires just to be safe and um you know it will work well for its intended purpose now the reason I picked the 22 over the 410 barrel was because I can carry more ammo in there. With this, I could probably carry maybe five shells, which would probably be between maybe buckshot and slugs or birdshot and hunting squirrels. Now, with the buckshot and slugs, I could easily take down a pig. But you can do the exact same thing with the 22 if you aim for the head, and it's all about shot placement. But I can definitely see why some people would prefer a 410 for self defense out in the wilderness. But it's easy to get game like rabbits and squirrels to eat. <clears throat> but if I could, I would probably just add waterproof matches and a magnesium fire starter to this kit. That or a skinnier flashlight so I could probably fit more stuff into there. But um, yeah, so that's basically my setup here. I might do a video when it's all changed up. <clears throat> this is actually a screwdriver I used to get it open with. But um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, some people are, um, they don't have many nice things to say about Rossi rifles. They say they're a cheap piece of crap, and, well, they are cheap, but, I mean, it's reliable. You can't really beat a single shot twenty two or four ten. <clears throat> you really don't need much else for survival. And this gets the job done easily and effectively. And it's not going to jam on you like some semi-automatic. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. So please like and subscribe for more of this stuff. Bye.